Hey, uh, today I'm going to show you what I got from two different Dollar Trees. It's mostly Halloween stuff with a few other things mixed in. I got this skeleton crow. This thing is really cool. I'm usually not into skeletons all that much, but I thought this was really cool. It's just a skeleton bird on it, so I don't know actually if it's a crow or a raven. Um, its mouth opens. That was my favorite part, that the, the mouth opens and closes. And then also the wings move. I got two of them. Just in case one breaks, I'll have a backup. And also, the, the, I saw these last year or something very similar like these at a different store. I think maybe Pat Catan's and some other stores were carrying them, and they were $7.99 each. So this was a really good deal for only a dollar. And then I got these lanterns that light up. They even have the little holes over here on the side to make it look realistic, like it's a real lantern where the smoke would come out of the candle. It already has, uh, it has a button on the bottom and it lights up. And I got that one with the haunted house and then I got this one with the jack-o'-lantern and the spider web. And I thought that was really cool. They also had a, a third design with a cemetery gate and a raven on top of the gate and a black cat on the bottom. But that design, um, they had a similar design on another LED candle last year, so I left that one behind. The only difference was that instead of the black cat, there was a jack-o'-lantern on the bottom. And then, this is boring, I got this lady speed stick, it says it's powder fresh, it's supposed to be 24 hour protection, but I never tried this one before. I usually just, for years, I just get the brand that Dollar Tree carries, the blue one that comes in the powder scent, and I think I forgot what the other one was, I think just it was called like fresh scent, but I decided to try this one this time because uh, the purple caught my eye. Um, let's see, I got one of these pom-poms for, the, for my purse. I got a black one because most of my purses are black and so it can match with, the, with my black purses. I wish they had the dark pink one that was advertised on, on the tag, but I already cut the tag off because I have a a purse that the dark pink one would uh, match. I was at Michael's like maybe about four days ago and they had similar ones like these at the register um, when you were checking out in a little plastic like bowl and they were five dollars so you can get five for the price of one at, at Dollar Tree. And then these I've seen for a while these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles keychains but my Dollar Tree finally brought them. Sometimes my Dollar Tree is slow to bring things compared to other like um, cities and states. And I was surprised they were fully stocked this time. And I think they had all, all, all four turtles, but I got Michelangelo because he's my favorite. And this is what the back looks like. And then it has a picture of Michelangelo over here. And then I got a pack of, they brought Dollar Tree when you're checking out where they keep the gum and the candy bars at the register. They had these uh, M&M's white candy corn. They brought these, and I only tried these once before, maybe about three years ago, and I decided to get another pack. And then I got this light up star. I already, it doesn't come with batteries. I already put batteries in it. It looks like this. They also had a uh, one, a red one that's that's a pound sign, or as people call it today, a hashtag. But I didn't want the pound sign. I just wanted the star. And then I got some Halloween Village pieces. I got this really cool gate. The gate is new this year. It has like a skull on the gate and a jack-o'-lantern with a witch's hat and then two skulls on the side. And then the gate's even detailed on the back. I thought that was really cute. And then this I've been collecting the village pieces for the past two years, last year and the year before, but this is my favorite piece that they have in, in the three years that they've been um, releasing the Halloween village pieces. It's a house, but it's a pumpkin house, and it has a witch's hat on top of it. How cute is that? If I had the money, I would have bought two of these, just in case something happens with this one, you know, if it chips, because this one would chip easily because the witch's hat and the chim chimney on top, or if it accidentally gets broken in my boxes after I put them away. And even on the back is very detailed. It has the vines on here, the pumpkin vines. 
and then it has the front door with the witch's broom and then it even has a purple door on the side so it has two doors and then it has the white picket fence on the bottom and the little window on top super cute my favorite piece so far this year I think they probably had the best village pieces that they've had since they've been releasing them and then they had this really cool one I don't know what this one's supposed to be but it says rest in peace on top and it's gray and purple and it has a black cat over here and it has the skulls and the shutters and then even has these cool skulls over here on the side and on the back it has another door and on the side it has a window and yet another door so it has three doors one in the back one in the front and one on the side and then on this side it has a window and then it has a chimney on top so I thought that was really cool I like the I like the purple and the gray and the design these triangle designs on there they had a lot more new village pieces this year but these are the only the ones that I could get otherwise I would have gotten most of them not all of them because a couple of them are repeats like the gazebo is a repeat and then I wouldn't get that one because I already have the gazebo and then they had like a Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper is new but it's too too similar compared to the other one or two that I have. And then let's see what else. Um, yeah I showed you that. The signs now. This, th this year they had the best signs I think in my opinion that they've ever had them since they've been making these um, cardboard wall signs. Look at that. Look how fancy it looks with the glitter and the picture on there it looks like something you would get like at Michael's something you would find like at My Michael's like for like $7.99 or something I thought that is, that is so awesome I even like this design that they have on the side over here where the dark purple part is and then I got one with the bat like I said crows, ravens and bats are my favorite and this one has glitter on it too I know some people don't like glitter but I don't mind it I think the, make, the glitter makes it stand out a lot and makes it look like all bougie. <laughs> Doesn't bougie mean fancy? I don't know. And uh, I have, it has the glitter over there and it says trick or treat with the bat. And then I have the skull mirror. Actually it's plastic and then this is not um, the mirror part is also plastic but I thought it was really cool looking that's going to probably stay in my bedroom up all year round if I can find some more wall space or maybe even hang it on, on the side of my bookshelf and then these stickers, they have tons and tons of Halloween stickers uh, but these ones sold me. These ones were the cutest ones, in my opinion, by far. I saw Stephanie Loves Fall haul a bunch of um, Dollar Tree Halloween stickers a few days ago, but I didn't see her hauling these ones. I don't know, Stephanie, if you saw these at your Dollar Tree or not, but I thought these were cute. Maybe you'd want to go check again or check another Dollar Tree for these. The girl sold me, sold me the little red-headed devil girl. I thought she was the cutest, so when I saw her, I had to get it. And I also like the skull with the back on the top of its head. And these ones says there's 50 stickers in here. And they have even the cute cupcake, the cakes or the cupcakes, and I love cupcakes. And then more signs. This one I got, it says Roadkill Tavern on it. And why I wanted to get this was because the cemetery scene on here. I like anything with like cemetery gates and tombstones so that's why I wanted to get this and then it says hit off the day front grill deer turtle track burger bottoms up possum stew and rat poison potion and then it has the burlap um, handle on here so you can hang it up and it says established 1786 and that's it for the signs. Then another one of the things that I like to pick up every year 
is the lenticular pictures. And these are the ones that just lay flat, not the smaller ones, the five by seven ones with the plastic frame around it. These are these ones, these, these type. And I thought she was really cool. She turns like into a vampire. And then it has these two things where you can hang it on the wall and you don't even have to use these because I hang it on the door and you can just use like tape or like that um, that's silly putty. And then I got the guy that just turns into a skeleton. I like the lady vampire a lot better though, but I got this guy too. So I think that's everything. Yep, that, that's everything. That's my haul for now. They had other stuff that I wanted that I couldn't get right now. They had um, a couple of scene setter, setters, a door cover that lights up. They had a purple one with a bat on there. And then they had this really cool orange one with the jack-o'-lantern and the jack-o'-lantern's eyes lit off. Like I said, they're door covers. And then they had this cute, cute witch's hat headband and it also comes with like a veil to put over your, your face. Um, maybe I can make a trip maybe next month. Just at least maybe five more dollars. So yeah. That, that, the, oh, and I forgot to say that there's a couple of things that I didn't find. Like, I didn't find some of the new um, Halloween cardboard gift box sets that they have. Not the old ones, the coffin shaped ones, or the big haunted house ones with the lid where the roof is removable. They have a new a set of new ones this year. One's like an outhouse, and then you open it up, and there's a skeleton going to the bathroom. And there's another cute one with a witch in it. Yeah, mine didn't have those ones. They only had like the other type of the Halloween gift boxes, like one the ones with the haunted house that they bring every year. And the only other thing I didn't find was oh, there was a, there was another thing, but I can't remember what it was. Oh yeah, those glittery sticky bats. They had the glittery purple ones and the glittery black ones, and on the back like there was a sticker and then you can stick them up anywhere you want. I was looking for a pack of those to put in my bedroom. Either pack of the purple or the black ones, either one. They didn't have those either. So yeah, that that was my haul. Thanks for watching. Bye.